Hello, everybody. Today is September 23rd of 2022, and you're on Friday Night Live. My name is Ron Holbert. I'm in uh, Orlando, Florida. My co-host is Lynn Nakamoto over in St. Petersburg, Florida. Lynn has a good agenda lined up for us tonight. But uh, before we get started, I'd like to kind of say my piece about uh, the webinar yesterday. Uh, I'm pumped. If anybody's not pumped after yesterday, you need to go get your pulse taken and make sure you're still alive. Uh, Ash lit it up as far as I'm concerned. You know, when I got in this in uh, December of 2020, um, when it first approached being a cop, I uh, was very skeptical. Okay. And I said, ah, I don't know. But uh, being a private investigator and stuff, I went ahead and check Mr. Marfara out. And I've told him this. And uh, after I got all my information back, you know, I used my, my uh, cop gut feeling. All cops run off their gut, usually not their brains. That's terrible, isn't it? But I had a gut feeling about Ash, that he was a uh, very sincere and honest man. And uh, he has over delivered to me and is over, over delivered to everybody on this webinar. I hope everybody was there yesterday. I'm still going back and checking the recap all the time to see what I missed. I had family drop in, so I missed some of it. But uh, the man is here for us. And uh, my gut says that we are all going to be very happy within the next few weeks, month, or whatever it's going to take. So just stand by, smile, and uh, get engaged. Lynn, go ahead. Awesome, Ron Halbert. Yes, we share your sentiment and lots of excitement among all of us about yesterday's webinar. It was awesome. Um, just a reminder to our co-host, someone just released the spotlight that I had on Ron. So maybe you don't realize it, but you're touching buttons that affect the webinar. So just I just want to remind my co-host, be aware of what you're, what you're doing because you're <laughs> affecting the entire webinar. So do not touch the spotlight button or release spotlights that I have um, selected. Okay, if you could help me with that, that would make things go much. We don't faster. have to want to break your fingers. Pardon? <laughs> we oh, don't no. want to have to break your fingers. <laughs> no, it's just like, what? I had spotlit you and suddenly <laughs> you weren't spotlit. So I knew that somebody touched that control. All right, so welcome everyone to uh, Friday Night Live. We've got an exciting day for you, because uh, exciting webinar, because the topic is yesterday's corporate webinar. And Mr. Mofara spoke and said so many lovely things to us, a lot of excitement in the group. So we want to discuss that. And we have our OTEC pros today. We have representing OTEC pros. We've got Oliver Fonte and Collins Mana today. Bob and Vincent were not able to make it. But those two will just carry the night for sure. So they'll be beginning, and then we'll go on to um, Marty DeGarmo, and then we have Dr. Bill in the house, as well as Chris Johnson, which I know they will have things to say, all right? So now we're going to begin with Collins Mana. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, just want to greet everyone in the house, Marty DeGarmo, Chris Johnson, John, um, Dr. Bill. You know, all of you are just so welcome. I think yesterday was really a crazy day. To me, it was crazy because there was really a lot of information. Honestly, if you think yesterday was not enough, then maybe you are you are just sleeping on the wrong side of your bed because you just have to wake up, take some pills. You know, when we had the Old Tech Pro chat, I mentioned it. I said, if you want to come to the webinar, come with, your, with an open mind get some wine or popcorn because what Mr. Ash Mufara would, would release again, it will be a massive bombshell and we all received it yesterday. So two of the things that really touched me before I'll give over to, I'll, I'll not take too much time, was we know the upcoming event, which I will not go there. It's massive, massive, massive. I look at it and I look at 2018, you know, it was just like, if I look at it, it was 2.5, 2, 3.5, 
3.57 billion people watching. It is massive, 3.5 billion people. That is it. Just, you can Google it, look at it. It's one of the biggest events mankind, honestly, on this planet Earth. Now, let me look at Mr. Ajmofara. You know, we're talking about ecosystem. It's already done. It's a done deal. Our CEO always talk about the ecosystem is a done deal. True, the products are already. And because an IT technology company, they will continue to build or continue to innovate. It will never stop. It will never end. We will die and leave it and others will continue. On passive is here to remain. It will never go anywhere, period. But our CEO touch a point. We're talking about crypto mining. And then, you know, when our CEO said, just clean his mouth and smile. I said, oh my God. I know a lot of people know about crypto, but I want to say something about crypto. If you are in crypto or any company, because there are a lot of cryptocurrency out there, some of them are useless because it's not backed by anything. It is backed by nothing. If crypto is not backed by products, either physical or digital, it is really volatile and sometimes it can shut down. We know what is happening with all the other crypto like Bitcoin, Ethereum, you can name them. When Elon Musk jumped into Bitcoin, what happened? It went up. When he pulled out, what happened? It drops because it's not backed by anything. We are talking, just imagine if Unpassive go into crypto. Ms. Anfra talk about data center crypto mining. You know, one data center for crypto and one data center for, 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 for our digital application. Now look at it if you want to look deep into crypto. To mine it is not easy because you need lots of electricity. Nobody can mine. People have crypto mining farm. It's not easy. But now we're talking about energy efficient crypto. I think that is where Mr. Ashmufara is going. That's my belief, where everybody anywhere will be able to lay hand on it. One, we have the products. Our crypto will be backed by products. We have it, the whole ecosystem, physical, digital all in there. What happened if we hit 5 billion or say 1 billion, because a lot of company, crypto companies, even I, I believe maybe Bitcoin is 1 billion now, I don't know, I'm not sure. We hit 1 billion customer. Remember, in two years time, we are or one year time, we are 1 billion. And Mr. Ash Bufara said, now is the time for us to get into crypto. What will happen? We will dominate the world when it comes to crypto. We will dominate it. Because one, lots of people want to use it. You know, we are controlling financially because the, the reason being that you want to purchase on passive products is by crypto. We can say, okay, buy by our crypto, whatever name is Ash Bufara will give. You come in, you participate. Where is the market? We have 1 billion marketplace. Everybody wants to, to come into on passive. One, the crypto is there. They use the crypto to purchase whatever they want to purchase. And we can use for transaction and we can mine. Crypto, I always said, it is the next generation currency. Fiat currency will disappear, whether we like it or not, it will disappear. Crypto is the order, it's coming. In 10 years time, we'll not even talk about, about fiat currency again, pound, dollar, this, it's going. It is going because crypto is something that is coming. And Mr. Ash Mufara, you know, is a genius, just thinking, thinking, looking at it and said, where do I tap to? Crypto, and he made a statement. What if we take 10% of that market, 10% of the crypto world, game over, game over. So this is one report I want to touch and I will leave it there, Lynn. It's just so crazy. I don't want to go about with data center, but honestly, founders should wake up because you are in the best place. This is the, this is the best place you can be. There is never any other business. You can be on passive, everything is there and it's game over thank you lynn that was kind of short you <laughs> really oh my gosh i blinked my eye and you're done i <laughs> wanted to say about that crypto trading thing it sounds interesting but i know nothing about crypto so can i still make money if i don't know what crypto trading really means i still can make money right you can make money lynn it will be easy now it is not the time of ethereum and bitcoin it was really difficult to mine, you have you need mining farm, you need a lot of electricity. The money you will burn to even get one of the coin, just one percent, because it's a gorilla. You hit the button and you just mining. But now, 
some of the companies that they have made an app where you can mine, you can sleep and press, it's automated. And that is where Mr. Ashwapala will tap into. That's what I'm thinking. Where you, you tap your button and it mines 24 hours without consuming a lot of electricity. But the good thing is, on passive crypto, if we go into crypto, it is backed by our products, period. If it is backed with something, game over. We have the product, physical and digital. What else do you want? That's it. What was that crypto that, um, you know, the, 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 it's a Shiba Inu that represents that coin. Honey, what was that coin, honey? The one with, the one that we got and then we decided we didn't want it. Anyway, we did that thing and that one, I forgot the name of the coin, but I remember that it is not backed by anything. You know, as exactly as nearly you all the cryptos are not backed by anything from Ethereum to Bitcoin to everything. They you look are? at the history, it, it they took the opportunity because maybe people were like disgruntled with the banks. If you look at the history, banks is just sucking all the money. The bankers they are the one making the money because it's third party they give you a lot because they are taking the risks to bank your money. And they said, Okay, because we are taking that chance, that risk for you, we're not giving you any interest. The interest is just zero, so it's worthless. Bank by gold. But now we're talking about digital currency coming in the form of crypto. So you take the risk yourself, you manage your currency yourself, but it is backed by the company. For instance, on passive, everything will be backed by our digital product. So for instance, somebody can come say, I want to buy whatever product. Say, okay, do you have O coin? We maybe call it a name. We sell our product through that. And they look at one point something million people, billion, using the same currency. Where do you think they will go? They will come to us. They'll come to us. That's already it. It is there already. The market is already there for unpassive. And when Mr. Ashbrand made that statement, I was like, my God. You know, because we already have the market, we have the product. So what else? Tell me the company that will not come to unpassive. And no matter, you can come in and pull out, it will never shake unpassive because we are backed by product. It's not like Bitcoin or Ethereum. Some company will go in and they say, you know what, we don't like you. We're pulling out. Then you see the market share drop everything because it worth, it's worthless. It's just a coin backed by nothing. In which case, I think I would be more interested now that I know it's back. <laughs> Maybe we even explain more about this. So I know yeah. crypto is crazy. Crypto is crazy. It's a game over. Game over. And 10% of that market was humongous. That's a lot of money for us. Remember, there was a time Bitcoin was was rise up to, to 65,000 US dollars for one Bitcoin. That was the COVID time, dropped to 35,000. I, I monitored and I said, this is crazy. And when Elon Musk was in, it went up and then pull out, dropped down. It's backed by nothing. Yeah, the volatility is what shines. Yeah, the volatility is just crazy. It's just crazy because it's just, but on passing will be stable because of our product. Woohoo, I can't wait. So Collins, what do you think about yesterday's webinar? Oh, yesterday webinar, it's just, that's why I'm just saying, I said the data center, Mr. Agbar talk about the, 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 the data center that will take 5 billion people. That's, that's, it's crazy. 5 billion. We're talking about 5 billion coming into unpassive data center. You know, we're talking about mobile data center because you remember when the mobile data center is about disaster recovery. For instance, one particular area can just like shut down but what happened with those moving, the moving cars? No, it will just light up. And we're talking about, you know, all the multi-region and talking about cloud hosting and all of those things. So we are just in a good place, honestly. The data center is just mind blowing. I was just like sitting, you know, listening to Mr. Ash Mofara, I said, this is crazy. The, normally the ecosystem is done. It is already complete. Now Mr. Ashmofara is thinking now the next phase, where are we going? Where are we going now from here? We're already done. So he's just thinking ahead of the game and he wants to tap, you know, in every sector. Every sector. Crypto, maybe to, to energy, to whatever, you know, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. I think the products so are just, just crazy. I think the products are just crazy, man, what he's coming out with. Crazy. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I can't yeah, wait. Too. You know, I can't wait to see the yeah. uh, the uh, O Connect. That is, I can't wait. You know, okay. and 
Onet. And Onet. O o Onet. Onet will suck o everyone's in. Yeah. O-Mail too. It's going to be fabulous. I Onet and O-Mail, free product will suck everybody in. I'm telling yeah. you, I'm looking at the African market. They will just suck everybody, O-Mail and Onet. Oliver, come uh, on in. Come and join the discussion, Oliver. Well, I think he's uh, I think he's kind of uh, realized and uh, he's bringing out more products and talking about it more because that's what probably 90% of the people want to see. They want to see and hear about the products, when and where. So uh, he dropped a lot of bombs yesterday. I hope people were listening. What do you think, Oliver? Oh, man. It was mind, it was mind blowing yesterday. That's why when I also I also talk about the data center when he talk about the the mobile data center and the wireless and energy efficient and it's, um, it's green and maybe no energy. I was like, Ash, what are you talking about? Connie just talked about. He said about five billion, um, five billion capacity users that can be in. Look, look. This is uh this is mind blowing. When you look at the other, let me call their names. Uh, let me call their names. I'm um, um, AWS, uh, Microsoft Azure with Google Cloud. When you look at them, my, AWS got just twenty three percent in the market, the market for for data cent for storing of data. Um, Microsoft Azure maybe eighteen point something percent, Google Cloud eight percent. So you see that they've never even touched even up to half of that market. On Pacific is coming now, we just sweep everything, the 50% and even 70% of that market. Why? Because our price, the technology. One, our second data center alone, what all Amazon data center, why do I say that? I will say that authoritatively because our technology that we use on our data center, that's why that one data center, the CEO himself calls the beast, has a capacity of can take 5 billion. Why can it take 5 billion? Amazon have about 200 plus. They're building one now in Virginia here. They say it's hybrid, it's half hybrid. Because all the data center has been connected with old technology, copper cables, we are on passive, fiber optic cable, laser. Talk about IPV. They have the, most of them have IPV4. It's not that they have IPV6, but our own is hybrid. You know, latest technology, back, backup, backup power, backup, backup internet. Tell me, tell me which company. That is just one data center, just one. But Amazon have more than 200 and something all over the world because it's with a kick technology. I'm sorry to say that. I'm just sorry to say that. I'm just so fired up when we talk, when we talk about that. Yesterday was the day that, in fact, and then when the CEO said the month of October is the month that people should upgrade their screens. You know, tell me. So please fasten up your belt, upgrade your dreams and reverse them, no matter how big they are. He told us that whatever thing you've ever thought about in your life, today or in unpassive, is gonna be one billion times better. Think big, buddy. <laughs> Think big. <laughs> It's just, it's, 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 in fact, everything he comes out now is just like, you know, um, and when he talk about success, it's the journey and the process that is unpassive. The journey of four years is a journey that was supposed to be 80 years or 15 years. But Mr. Ash Mufara took four years, less, less than four years to build this company. We are not starting from garage. We are starting from Bush Khalifa. And from Bush Khalifa, we'll create another, another top and another top and another top. When Connie just talked about crypto, I'm not a crypto person, but just when I don't hear, hear him talking about it, this, this is what's going to happen maybe within two to three years. When you hear Mr. Ash Mufala talk about something, know that it's done. If he's talked about something, know that it's done. So please prepare yourself. Sit up. Go and study your business. Your business. I was very happy that for the past two outings now, we maxed 20,000. Therefore, now people are there. People are there. People are there already. And we should please, he, when he talked about motivation also yesterday, motivation, we should motivate each other. Pick the phone, call your brother. We are now family here. 1.4 million of us, we are family. Pick the phone, call your brother, say, hey, you heard what happened yesterday? 
I talk to Collins three, four times a day. I talk to Bob three, four times a day in the morning. Collins wake me up seven o'clock, six thirty in the morning. We talk. Bob, I talk to Bob, Bob eight a.m. in the morning. I with the final people that will talk. So please call each other, <clears throat> motivate each other. Ash might say something that I didn't understand. I'll call Collins. Collins will say, "Hey, bro," he said it so. He said so. So we should, you know. I call Bob. Bob, hey, what? Bob will say, hey, Olivier, this, this. I say, no, Bob, it was, it's like this and it's like this. Because I might not hear something well. Collins will hear it. Bob will hear it. Vincent will get it. You know? And they will motivate me. So we should motivate each other. This is the moment. This is the time that we need to inspire each other so that we should prepare ourselves mentally. When I heard uh, Mike Ellis said this in his, in his last um, YouTube channel, YouTube video, I say Mike Ellis got it because this is the moment in our lives. With what is coming, people are going to be arrogant. And the and the and the CEO, our boss, said it yesterday. People should not be arrogant. People should not be arrogant, and they should not abuse humanity. Those were his words quoted, and we should stick on that because when money, when money make people personality change, arrogant, disrespect. Please, we should not. The CEO mentioned this yesterday. We should not abuse humanity because of the money. We should instead use the money. Yes, fill your tongue. He said, fill your tongue. Take care of yourself. But take care of your environment also with the excesses that's coming. Thank you. Uh, hey, Lynn, what do you think? What do you think about yet yesterday's webinar? Got to unmute. <laughs> I think that it was amazing. And um, the part that excited me was the growth of the company. I like the fact that I think he said there were, was it 40 or 60? 20 are dedicated to working on the dashboard on the on passive business solution, OBS. That yep, yep. tremendous. Six days a week, these engineers are just focused on that one particular aspect of this company. That's a tremendous amount of labor and talent. And that's why this dashboard that we saw was so impressive, very, um, aesthetic, appealing, inviting, you know, it was just amazing. I just like the way it's been set up. I was really impressed by that. And the data center is also something that excites me. You know, I believe that the superiority of this data center is gonna be clear to the world. And then as people see its superiority and the fact that the cost is way under what other data centers would charge, there are gonna be a lot of corporations, large and also small businesses coming to on passive to house their data you know and we're going to be offering the best services to them as well so i'm excited about that for the world everybody's going to benefit because as corporations save money right they're storing their data and they have to pay for that anyway but they're going to us and saving a lot of money what does that mean that corporation can then put that money back into the company and it's clean the admin of the compensation oh oh okay sorry let me add Marty to the conversation. Hi, Marty. Yeah, come on in. So I was just talking about the data center that I think that because we're, what we're offering to the world is something really fabulous that companies are gonna save money by coming to us and they're gonna use that money that they've saved to enhance their company, to give back to their employees. So there's gonna be a lot of good things happening as a result. What do you think okay. of that, Marty? Okay. Yeah, I've been listening to all this, and uh, yeah, I mean, when you were talking about mining, you know, people don't realize it costs like thirteen thousand dollars to mine one bitcoin. It does. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very expensive. <laughs> it, it actually doesn't. It doesn't. It actually doesn't mine one bitcoin. It it, it mines blocks, and then the four, the blocks create one bitcoin. It takes about it takes time to do it. It's very expensive uh, electrical cost. Now, when Ash talks about mining and cutting the cost down green, listen, you think about this. If you cut 1,000, what does it make the value of the coin? It adds $1,000 in value just by mining. And he's talking about mining like really cheap. All right, I don't want to go back into crypto that much, but also imagine. If he uses O-Coin as a way of payment, you don't have to call it crypto right now. I'm just saying if he does, 
when he when he gives us a buck for each O coin and you buy what you buy, when you go to the merchant and say, okay, Marty or somebody here made 500 O coin, they're going to transfer $500 or find $500 worth of rupees or $500 worth of whatever currency you're in. Now, picture this. They take the O coin, which is backed by unpassive goods, which is digital, hardware, everything we know of is backed by a tangible product. As it goes, as the company goes up in value, the value of O coin goes up. The day will come that you've got stockpiled a million big, a, a million O coins that were worth a buck that are now worth 10 bucks a piece. And, and people say, oh, that can't happen. Not only can it happen, if we get into crypto, you can find a way to save on mining to cost, because the, the, the cost is what the killer is. That's why you see them building these machines in Greenland, Iceland, because it's naturally cold. Machines get very hot and they're very loud. But if asked, I don't want to say but if asked, because I don't think that's a proper word, proper sentence. When asked decides to do this with his tech team and they go green, not only can he mine for other companies or other people, which is mind blowing the amount of money, but picture the amount of money and everybody in every country who has a banking problem the bank's in their wallet, in their hand. You plug your bank in the side of your computer, you withdraw money, boom. Everybody has their own bank. Now, that's way down the road. I know we don't want to go there, but that's, that's where Ash starts drifting off because the <laughs> conversation goes. But no, seriously, I mean, everything he said, when he started talking about the mobile databases, you know, maybe we have a problem here and we got it. There's an earthquake. I mean, anything could happen. I think and he's you, got these data. Marty, you said database. You meant to say data center. Well, is no, I really didn't. I meant database, databases on a mobile cart of oh. some kind. Yeah, yeah. So these little centers traveled all over where he wants them to go. God, this is, this is outer space stuff. And no, it's cool. That's what happens, though. He talks about being the hunted, people looking for smart minds are coming to on passive. They don't have to go look for them. And you treat them well and you pay them well and, and you give them a chance to think along with our guy, <laughs> as we far off, only good can come from that. And we're all going to be part of it. Like Ron said, this isn't a spectator sport. We're part of the team. And I don't think people can wrap their head around it. You know, Ash always goes, Marty, what's your opinion? I don't have a freaking opinion. I don't know. I don't know what words you could use. What could you possibly say? Today on my live, before I had short circuited, what I was going to say is everybody, all we do is compare to what we see. Our whole life is compared to our history. When this happens, we go, well, when this happened to me before, this is what it was. It's what scares people. It's what makes people happy. It's anticipation. Ash Mufara, in my mind, built this huge landing strip for the biggest rocket in the world, and we don't see the rocket. So everybody walking around, why do we have such massive foundation for something we can't see? Because it's coming. It's being built just out of sight. And when then people see they coming into orbit, yep, and when it lands, watch out, everybody. It's going to land, and we're going to see exactly why he did what he did. And he reverse engineered the whole company. So when people ask you what you think, what the freak can you think? I don't even know what to compare it to. Oh, I think it's bigger than... No, it's, it's nothing like you could imagine. So you go with the ride. He does it on purpose. He knows... Even even if you have a massive imagination, and, and I do, I have no freaking clue what's coming. And, and I have an idea what's coming, but I there's no way we could know. 
But if you look at what we do know, just look at what he said in the in the webinar. Look at what he said. He's building a 12 or 13 foot deep concrete pad. It's as far as the eye can see. He's hiring the best of the best to make sure when this thing lands, everybody is on, on deck. He's making a panel. And I'm telling you right now, everybody says, how do we get people to come? You got a better chance to try to stop people from coming in. Because you'll never stop them from joining. I think there'll be a world record multi-million dollar We'll have more millionaires than any company in the world. And I also think more people will join on Passive through word of mouth than any other company that ever existed. No marketing at all. All you got to do is get that back. And that's why I said on that meeting, is everybody going to be able to see what I see right now? Yeah, even the free products? It's over, everybody. And this guy knew it. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's jumping around and laughing because he knows he has a crystal ball. He made it. He's looking in the ball, goes, if we do this, this, and this, this is what happens. And he shows the ball. It has to happen. He took history and reverse engineered it. He took the results and built to that. He said, what do I want? Which is ungodly. What do we want? Ungodly. How do we get there? Build an ungodly platform. Build everything around it that will feed and make that real. That's how you explain I'm, <laughs> I'm passive. Good luck. No, people aren't going to see it that way. You, there's nothing you can say. I used to compare it to Amazon. If I compare the company I know now to Amazon, I'm downplaying on passive. I'm making on passive look bad. So we got to stop doing it. We have to come up with a new dictionary that's unpassive dictionary and say words that people go, what the frick does that mean? And tell them what it means. Because what he did, he took where he wants to be and build a platform to get there. He took value because he knows he does value. If he does the value, he does the technology, he does the AI. Get the biggest apple cart you can get because the apples are coming. They're going to come whether you like it or not. People are going to walk into Unpassive whether we like it or not. A billion people, one year, my guess. I believe the company will double every month for five years. And if you have a million-dollar company on day one, what do you have in five years? Trillion, trillions. What's, what's the market of trillions in the whole world? 128, 108? I think the uh, GDP for the world is 128 trillion. We could take half of that. Because I think it'll be, be parts of government. I think it'll be parts of living. I still believe the day you'll flip open a computer, when you click the button, there's no logging in, you are in on passive. Today, no. But he's building something. We're all standing on this deck looking around going, what the freak is this massive thing? What? Why? Why are we building it? Why are we spending so much at Burj Khalifa? Why are we advertising in the biggest sport game in the world? Why would we? Because you know who he is. We may not have the picture that he has, but that 1% I can see make you have to change your pants. That's all I got. Lynn, let me just add something to what Maddie said. You know, you talk about the OBS. You know, when I show us the OBS, everyone was just like crazy, going crazy. And you can see, wow, when engineers build software, you can see how customer, I know someone says something, I, I'm just waiting for the day, the product will go out and then see how people react. Somebody said it in, said it on the round table. But while I was sitting there looking at this product, this, this is my take. I was looking at the back end and I was like, this is really crazy. You know, I was just thinking all about those guys, the tech guys in Hyderabad for the amazing job they have done. Because if you look at it, it is not easy to build it. It is not just easy. It is crazy. If Mr. Alvaro can just flip it for us to see what is running behind. I'm telling you, some of us will jump out and say, what is this? Who put this together? To build something simple like this, 
it is very complex behind. Complex. The complexity of what we are seeing is crazy. And that's what I was sitting there just watching. I said, oh, my God. I just wish everybody is seeing what I'm, see I'm, I'm looking at. How did they do this? It is so crazy behind. But you know what? It's about to make our life easy. Because the more crazier it is, the more easier it is for all of us to use it and in a, in, in a very easy way. And that's what they've done. They've just make it easy, but it's crazy behind. On 100%. And, and what, everything I said, by the way, I'm sorry I cut in. Uh, I know people hear crypto, they hear all this stuff and they start shaking. Oh, what? Do, I don't know how the company was designed so I could do it. It was designed so my grandmother, my grandmother could do it. When you look at that that uh, dashboard and you see how easy it is, that's how you can tell how 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 complicated it is. He took a very complicated system and made it super easy. That is technology at its finest. It's going to be easy for everyone. Mining will happen. You will be part of it if you want to, and you don't have to do anything. Nothing. Nothing. Just like advertising. When Nike comes in and says, hey, Ron, the company asks Ron and everybody, hey, Nike has a $35, $2 two billion contract they want to do. They want to share their new sneaker. Do you care if they put an ad on your pages? No. What do you have to do physically? You just have to say yes or no. <laughs> you have to do anything. Your pages are out there. You're already, you're already being branded. They get their 1 million, 2 million views a day because we have a billion pages out there. They're happy, and you guys make a few hundred million billion pennies. <laughs> Madi. Yeah, uh, let, let me let me also ask let me also ask something. Um, uh, what, what the CEO also mentioned yesterday that makes me that uh, we on perseverance, when I talk about motivation, should motivate each other. When he said he called Chris Johnson while he was in a meeting with um, the marketing or the advert company, and they and he said we that he's, he wants they, they should do marketing. And uh, that we are going to flip the traffic in the world, and they offer that they want to that I should buy, on passive should buy the company. Man, on passivian, did you people hear that? We are not even in the market. Companies are already campaigning for us for on passive to buy them. And Mr. Ash Mufara, I thought he was just sitting there and was just laughing because they know they know the potentials of this company. They know. FIFA called at that same moment. FIFA called him and come on now. Come on now. FIFA called him. Now come big giant company called. They, they, they call him now. Please, we should give a hand of applause to our CEO. For the sleepless night and everything. Now they are calling, the people are calling him the giants. They are calling him. Let me also touch something about this data center thing. This data center world that we are talking about. Mr. Asmufara is very proactive. A smart guy, because all connect, all net, all mail, they all have audio visual. They consume a lot of data. If we would have been with still with AWS, I bet you all the money that would have been coming in will pay AWS for services for storage. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. That was the smartest idea that Mr. Ash, Colin Salman said, we, before he came and told us that we have, we are in the process to have our own data center, Colin and myself, we keep saying this thing, that if on passive don't, we don't have our own data center, we will be in trouble. AWS is going to make every blessed coin, dime that, we, that we're making. All connect, all mail, all net, they are going to consume too much data. Look at what Mr. Ash Mufara is giving. Unlimited. Last year, Google just announced that they are selling space. Now they don't have free space. You, you buy now space for 0 0.0 cent, 50 cent. Apple, now all of us that will have um, iPhones, they sell space. If you need more storage, they sell. But on passive now, 
with our data center, that capacity, free, unlimited. Tell me who will not come to unpassive. I just wanted to add that little page there that we should know that he, Mr. Ash Mufara, our CEO, he takes good and strategic decisions to build this company. And we are going to benefit from it. Thank you. Yeah, I wasn't at the table during the negotiations, but I remember Ash was sitting down with AWS. And I'm sure the conversation was, what would you charge us for unlimited O Connect? And some number came out. <laughs> and they asked got all that meeting, went to his tech team and said, build the database now. Because it, like like Oliver said, they wanted they wanted your first child. It's expensive. O Connect is one of the hardest things to build, I think. I don't know, but after hearing hearing these guys and what Ash is saying, you know, you when you have different screens, you have unlimited people. I mean, I think Zoom has a lot of nerve charging for 20,000 people and they really can't handle it. They really strain at 20,000. People get kicked out all the time. But yeah, I think after that conversation, if you remember he talked about a data center in the future but after that conversation, it wasn't six, seven weeks later, we had a data center. So no, it's the best thing that could have happened. It's only going to get better. So it sounds like the next one can eat the one we have. So that ought to be pretty cool. I had a question from, um, I have a team webinar and one of my people said, okay, so what, what is this about? It's an iCloud hybrid data center and wanted to know a little bit more about that. So maybe either Oliver or um, Hollins could explain the concept of an iCloud hybrid data center and the benefits of having one. Is Vincent there? Can, can, you, can you talk Vincent? No, Vincent is not there, but I can I can, I okay. can answer that. Yeah, okay. I called him already. He, yeah, so they're talking about hybrid. Just take for a layman, we were talking about hybrid car, where you know hybrid car use electricity and petrol, right? So once one stop, the other one can kick in. So hybrid is just about transition of our hosting site, you know, where our data resided, the whole building, and then to cloud. That's hybrid. So we're saving in cloud and we're saving in the data set in, in the main, where the, the physical building is. So that's two double locations. Whatever happened, we have data in cloud. Some people can come and say, you know what? I want you to host all my data in cloud. Some people can say, I want you to host in both in cloud and in in-house. And they'll do that. And it costs a lot of money if you want to use both. You know, and that's just simple. It's just simple as that. You host it in cloud, host it. That's the hybrid between the hybrid nature of it. You can host it in the main physical building and in the servers and everything because they are, the building contains servers and racks and all of those things. And the, 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 the cloud is just another services. And the, and the AI part in it, um, I'll talk about AI part in it in security. The AI part in it is very efficient in security because AI, artificial intelligence comes with its own security. You know, from, 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 um, um, from the firewalls coming down to inner, inner circle with the dynamic and, and statistic, um, 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 uh, you know. And static. And static, yeah. yeah. Yeah, dynamic and static and, um, and static. Absolutely. Yeah. So so you see that even our database, like the CO told us, I will keep saying that all the time here that even our database is AI 100 percent secured. Which therefore means that you can break everything, but our database, you know, you can you can't touch it. You can break everything on passive, take it, take it and go, but that database, AI secured, you cannot do anything with it. You cannot, you break it and you can't do anything. With the day the CEO pronounced that, I was like, game over. So AI alone also in the database is, uh, the security there is, is, uh, is unspeakable. So when it comes to secure, when it comes to um, security with, with, uh, with unpassive, we should not panic. I think we should, uh, uh, we are uh, where we are based on what the CEO has told us, the one percent that he has told us, we are fine. Thank you. Very, very helpful.
can we talk a little bit? I just have a question about the mobile data center. So is it like just a car or a truck and they put the servers on it? Is that what it is? And then they drive it around to wherever it's needed. So we only need it if like a data center falters for some reason, there's an issue, then we drive over there to the data center with the mobile data center. Is that the concept? So like a satellite TV truck oh. that you see from news. Yeah, news. yeah, yeah. You think it's like that? Is it like that, you guys? Am I correct? I, 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 think, I, I think it could go where there might be a weaker signal to back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's more of a it's more of a backup. Like yeah. if they if they lose part of a data center for whatever reason, they know what area is affected, and they can take these mobile units and and bring them in between to mm -hmm. to pick up the to pick up the slack in in data. That's my that's the way I think it is. Yeah, it's that's Ibadi. You are right. It's just a backup. Yeah, it's a booster for what they might have lost yeah. while they're while they're working on that, so that this is taken over. It's all about yeah. with with us, and I I know with anybody online, being down is money, big money. Yeah. Data is money, but being down is money. Why? Because while you're down, you have a data flow problem. Yeah. Anytime the data stops flowing, it's money. It just is. So. And, and companies, when you when you start getting hospitals involved or big big stores or whatever, you really can't afford to have a bip. Yes, a, a, a bip could cost millions of dollars. Yes, depending yes. on who's with you. But see, because he thinks of what if everything's what if he he builds in redundantly. He doesn't want the consumer to see any problems, even if there's a problem. And that's a big deal, especially in, in technology. It's even getting more and more so. Yeah. So, you know, I, I had the same question as, as uh, Lynn, you know, about this mobile. It, it, I, I realize it's a backup. I understand that. But it's like a fix to a vehicle that they can drive to a location they need to be, correct? Yeah. Yeah. It, it could actually, I don't know this. I mean, I, I would, I will ask, but I mean, you could have it on anything. You could have it. On a, on a airplane, you could have it where it's moving from one location fairly quickly, but it's just in case, or or, or even move it. Right. Let's say you're having a really huge event, and and not even need it, but it's there in case you do, like this big event we're we're, we're doing soon, or another big event. You might you might take bring in a couple of uh, mobile units for standby. I'm I'm guessing, guys, right. but that's that's what I, I would think they'd want to be, always want to be ready. That's all. Cool. Yes, and let me add on that. There's one important question that when um, uh, we security guys we perform security review with any other company, there's one question that we always ask: How many seconds? How many minutes when the system shut down? We will have access to our data. That's a very important question that. When you perform security review in any other company, you ask that question. You know, you know, it, it call it, they call it RTP, um, RPO, recovery point of action. You must ask that question when the system shut down. How many seconds? How many minutes will it bounce back with unpassive and with the mobile data center or database? It will not. You will not even you will not even understand that anything has happened. With the with the mobile data center, it will, you will not even understand anything has anything has happened. So, wow. it's it's something that Mr. Ash he has he has looked into the gaps. He has looked into the gaps in the market and fill it and perfect it with unpassive. Wow, that's that, that's absolutely mind boggling. I remember that we also have multi region. The multi region too is another big deal because the closer the multi region is to you, there is no way you can lose connectivity. We've added Dr. Williams to the panel. You may not have noticed, but we added you. <laughs> You're busy, <laughs> busy. I just, I just saw his hand up. I figured he's coming. That's fine. That's fine. We wanted to include you in the discussion. So chime in, Dr. Bill, anytime. 
Are you, are you, you know, you know something else. I was, I was. There's a lot of people out there and companies and and very smart people that have technology to make things better, <laughs> and they're going to be able to, to approach us, <laughs> and and you know and be, and come aboard. I believe. Like there's, I mean, there's companies out there that do green data. They're not very big because nobody ever lets them move in. You know, the big boys keep pushing them aside. But I think with Unpassive, it, it'll make everything better for a lot of these companies. There's a company out there now called, I don't know what, Zilla. And they do data, uh, more, more of the green style. But I think a lot of companies are going to be able to come to Ash and doctors and scientists and open their mind and stuff because he, he loves that stuff. So we'll see what happens. Go ahead. Yeah, when you were when you were talking about data centers, and I was thinking, I heard Ash say something that was critically important that may reflect on something he's doing with this mobile center. He said something about it floats, or it will float. Did you hear that? Did he? Yes. So I'm thinking it's going to be on a uh, a ship, mobility in a ship to move around. I mean, that's one option. The average data center is 100,000 square feet. The largest is 6.3 million square feet. And so those don't fit on automobiles, trucks, on the roads. They're the size of football fields or two or three football fields. So we have to start thinking, what can hold that kind of a structure? You might put it on the uh, spruce goose even then, it wouldn't fit. The largest airplane ever built. He's but, always talking about that uh, the rocket boosters coming down. You know, he's always talking about that. So I could I could see him putting it on a on a in the ocean or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm maybe you put it in space. Maybe it'd be put in space. It could be. But I'm thinking ocean. Ooh. Ocean has water, and water is a cooling agent, right? And also that the noise and the uh, you know, noise pollution would create a lot of noise, but it would be muffled through the ocean. So oh. I think an ocean has a lot of space. Even if your, your country has limited space, there's a wide space in the ocean. So I was just thinking oh. more ocean, plus it's going to be more green, right? Because if you can use that water energy, hydro en energy instead of regular electricity. I'm just guessing, of course. Well, the other thing we got to keep in mind is what we're what we're thinking about is technology that we know about, right? I mean, we're comparing it to stuff we know. Uh, he's already got another database that is a hybrid, massive compared to the one he has. But I mean, China's got massive, 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 massive data centers everywhere. But like he said, you know, a lot of them are finding now that the shelf life of a a tray or whatever is like what five years or something, Collins. I don't know. So there's so you you got to replace all that. It's a lot of money. So I think technology will also determine size. You, you they will get more efficient because a lot of people say you can't, and I just don't think that's in Ash's vocabulary. And <laughs> I, I, I would think there's other people because Doctor Bill's right. I mean they're enormous. They're enormous but you know we're not looking at uh, the technology and what part does he want to hold on to because there's some data centers that are particular for a, a, a certain business in the world where they wouldn't you got one for big department stores like walmart but that might not necessarily be the same one you would use for a power company or something like that so but i think the technology is a cool part because technically half the world doesn't get internet. So we judge everything by 5.6 billion people or whatever it is, when in reality, in a few years, it might be 8 billion, 9 billion. And how do you get there? That's all technology. That's things changing the world. So just by changing stuff opens the door to much bigger and better ideas. I'll sound like mm -hmm. I'm preaching. <laughs> Not to change the subject, but in, in terms of miniaturization, he talked about that Philips product costing $750 and 
we could produce it for 10% of that or less. And the size of it would be correspondingly small. So maybe he's shrinking data centers at the same time. Who knows? <laughs> it's possible, Dr. Bill, because the way, as Maddie said, technology is moving now, it's become more complex and more reliable because gone are those days where you need a massive space to build something. If you look at like some of the, the servers now, they are just tiny. You know, even if you look at the USB, we are talking about one terabyte, three terabyte, it's just like a pen and can hold a lot of data within that. So it's just crazy, just technology. My, my first computer had like 15 kilobytes on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And in, NEC. It was this big. It was NEC back in 1981. Yeah. Jeez. And you know what we got to keep in mind? You know, a lot of ideas are there, but anything that gets into an industry and is established, you got an army of people keeping everybody else down. Right? I mean, there's a whole group of people that don't want things to move in because it takes their industry and abolishes it. So I think with Unpass, because it's not money driven, we're gonna see things that maybe not necessarily would come to fruition if it wasn't, if it wasn't for Unpass, if you know what I mean. In other words, I think there's a lot of ideas that get squashed because big boys stand there going, what the freak do you think you're doing? You know what I mean? Don't you dare come out with that. And, no, I believe that. I mean, we we hear it sometimes, and with that, she's craving that, and that's that's why this value thing and all this. If you put it in your head, be lucky if it doesn't blow up, because that's where he's going. Every time he says it, we keep comparing to what we know. Well, let go of what you know, and then think about what you hear, and you're going, "Whoa, this is this is this is outer space stuff." No. Yeah. I know Ash said with the innovation labs, remember how he said, we are gonna be creating things, inventing things. People are coming to us and suggesting things that they may have suggested to others, but were turned down because of the profit margin. It wouldn't be worth it to these companies to make this product or whatever it is. But he says he doesn't care about that because he's not profit driven. So he's gonna be able to support these innovative products created by brilliant people because money is not a driving factor for him. So I think that's going to also be a benefit to the world. I agree. I, will, I am pretty sure he gets a lot of stuff. I'll tell you why. I get a lot of stuff. <laughs> you got to give this to Ash. You, Ash has got to see this. He's got to see this. Now, I turn it in. And he's starting to collect it, has a team look at it. Because you know what? That's how things happen. And, and he really loves it. And he's got people, that's what they do. You know, hey, check this out. They come back and say, yeah, it's worth looking into. But there's a lot of ideas out there that people just don't, it's, it's fun times, guys. And we're, we're in a company that thrives for that. They're not trying to put it down, they thrive for it. I think the biggest problem Ash would have is trying to keep it quiet. I mean, that's a full-time job right there. That's why when we go five, six-hour marathon, I'm going, oh, man, I hope he doesn't say anything to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of having fun, you know, I, I was speaking to my family today. That Today was a day for family business. And I started off, you know, I, I get up at 6 o'clock and walk around the park with Sadiq, and we talk about things. And um, usually it centers on what's the update on on pass the first thing, because he's a founder. And, and then at 10 o'clock, nine o'clock, I had a, about two hours with my daughter-in-law. We sat down at Wendy's and had breakfast and, and talked about dreams. They just moved into their, uh, they're moving into their new house this week and they're starting, you know, it's their first house they have ever owned so their dreams are coming true and then i sat down with my wife at, at lunch and so our our talk was on our dreams of what we're going to do once 
on passive comes and will we really want to downsize to a smaller house because all the children moved out and all. And, um, you know, it just it got me thinking about dreams. And the whole thing yesterday was about the fulfillment of dreams. Ash was waxing philosophical for the first hour because he was in dreamland. His dream had come true. He sees it. He knows it's finished. He knows it's a done deal. And so I started thinking about, you know, what's the importance of dreams? Is it okay if we leave data centers and go into dreams? And I, I was thinking about if everybody in on passive has a dream and they take action to create that dream, I think that would fulfill Ash's greatest wishes is to have families be more solid, communities be more solid, and people blessing each other. It made me think about Dreamland. That's a famous barbecue place here in the South. And, you know, you, you get the best flavor from barbecue depending on how you fix the sauce. How do you cook your barbecue over there in the UK? Do they know how to barbecue in the UK, Collins? I've never been to one. <laughs> you know, in, in, in America, we have a lot of different styles. Kansas City barbecue, Memphis dry rub. But I like the, Calif I like the uh, Carolina mustard. The Carolina barbecue is the best to me. And so to me, on passive has the spice that you like. It tastes good. And so, you know, I keep thinking, Ash the foodie would like some of these uh, particular barbecues. And then you got to have your dessert on top of that. And why not have a dream sickle? You know, that combines the best of both. It's the, uh, the ice and the milk. It's the orange flavor. It's, it's classic. And we all grew up with dream sickles. You know, we had that taste that we, we remember. So that's the sweetness of of on passive. It's got a sweet, familiar taste. But now we're talking about today and what's going on today is dreamscape. Dreamscape is like virtual reality. There's, there's a, a virtual reality adventure experience that happens called dreamscape. And they travel around the country putting on things that people can attend. I think on passive is our dreamscape. It's our adventure. And certainly being on this journey to the next level is the biggest adventure of our whole lives. I've never been on a bigger one. I mean, I travel all over Russia and Indonesia and South America hunting, doing adventure things. Hunting. I was hunting Marcos's goal once. I was hunting oil in Kazakhstan once. And, um, you know, just a dentist, I just do crazy things, right? But on passive is the biggest adventure I've ever done, ever seen. I think that um, I said something that kind of tweaked my thoughts about adventure and VR. And he said, we're going to, put Disney out of business, did he say? And what does that mean? A theme park, a fun place to go play, who knows? I mean, what does Disney do that people like? Everything. It makes you think. <laughs> but what about the next kind of dream? There's a thing in Atlanta called the Dream Hack this year where it's a gaming festival. I've seen the word gaming somewhere in some of these uh, webinars, somewhere written down there's the word gaming. I'm, I'm thinking there's a whole division of on passive that may be in gaming, you know, virtual reality, metaverse, those things fit together. And so to me, on um, passive is our game. And on um, passive is our dream come true. And it's kind of a fun place to be. So. When you're sitting around talking with your family, 
you know, get them to start dreaming. Where would they be if they had no limits on their their money and time and resources? You know, Bill, I'm 66 years old and uh, I've always had to work for somebody else. And as I, I and I've always been just over broke. OK. And uh, who knows how much time you have left on this earth? You know, I have some uh, <clears throat> illnesses that are creeping up on my time. And uh, but I always wanted something that I could leave my family financially free. So when I go through the pearly gates, I don't have to worry about it because they will be taken care of. And I've been in a lot of business, you know, thinking that that dream was going to be there. You know, this business is going to do it for me. But I have never, ever had the confidence that on passive has given me that uh, we will be financially free and I'll be able to leave my, uh, my family better off than they ever was that ever thought they could be. So uh, on passive is it, I tell you, it's in my gut, it's in my heart. Okay, I wake up thinking of passive, I go to bed thinking of passive, I dream about it passive. I dream about things that unpassive is going to do and what I can do with unpassive. So it's, uh, you're right on dreams. We need to dream. We need to dream and uh, with 100% that it will be done. And uh, I have 100% confidence in Ash that it will be done. Welcome, Chris. Chime in at any time. Well, you Chris, guys, hello. Hi, you guys are like all over the map tonight. Here, I got one thing to say and you jump from another and you made me think about something else. Uh, let me say something quick about the mobile. We'll, call, we'll just say mobile right now. He did specify that a lot. And I never give away secrets, but I do have some knowledge on some things, even though Marty's saying you are right. All right. <laughs> and then, no, you, you know, I'm not no techie guy. This is how I look at these mobile things. Marty was kind of touching on it earlier. And so was Collins and Oliver. If some, I call it a disaster. That's a disaster emergency. Let's say something comes in and knocks that building down. Earthquake. We don't know. We don't, we can't control mother nature. She just means sometimes, right? It's kind of like in your house, I can give you two examples. If your power goes out in your house and it's nighttime, what's the first thing you do? You light a candle, right? So you go to your bedroom or your shower, it's all lit up. It's kind of the same way. Or if you have a generator that's put into, built into your house, when the power goes out, the generator automatically kicks on and boom, you got electricity. I think it's something like that to my knowledge that if something happens to a center, these things automatically get an alarm says, hey, get out there. What are you doing? And boom, they might travel to a certain area, which affects a whole bunch of people. Now, do we have that a lot? No, we really don't. We lose a lot. You remember a few years back, which Marty, it's funny because Marty don't remember. I know the tech guys will know. When we lost grids and everyone lost power for like anywhere from three days to two weeks. I was the two-week guy. It was absolutely horrible. Just like that, boom. See, and I'll, I'll agree to disagree with Dr. Bill. Everything starts out in this world big, a design of a television, a phone. Uh, and that's how it works. And as if you know history, things are starting to get smaller. I'll give you an example. If I told you I could put a 650 horse engine on an outboard motor 20 years ago, you'd have laughed at me. But guess what? They're doing it. It's compact, it's small, and they got 650 horses on the back of a boat five of them actually, and they could do that. Marty said, and all of us said, we don't know what Ash knows, okay? He might know of a new technology that, yeah, we can throw it in the back of an F-150. We can throw it in a little speedboat. We got to get out to that island. They need this. We don't know that. But I'm going to say I do know that, okay? Look at. I'm going to turn my little, my, uh, backdrop uh Lynn and, and Ron for five seconds here because I want to show you something uh, how do I do it none is that how I do it none okay now you see this pretty little canister here this pretty little canister is where I keep my sugar my belly I say my belly right 
And I thought about, Ash was talking about ants, and God, I don't know where he came up with that number of how many ants, but I'm thinking, I put it into sugar. Now, you see this? If you ever really look, just one little, what do they call them, granules of sugar is so small you can't see it. I'm going to tell you something. You've heard this the last five weeks. You know one of those little granulars. That's it. And look at this is one little bowl. Now let's talk about the globe here. Okay. We know one little granular of sugar or salt or an ant, however you want to say it. That's what we know. And you know what? I don't want to know the rest. I think honestly, I'd have a heart attack. All I know is Ash Mafar has taken this bowl of sugar. All right. Ask the fire if you haven't understood him. And sometimes it's hard to even me. I go, like, what did he say? What did he say? He's letting us know for the last two years since I've been in it. Guys, we are going to be a part of everything. You are going to, a passive is going to be a household name. And it's going to be a part of everything. Because I truly believe that what he's doing, businesses are going to want to be part of. They're not going to want to be left behind. Like this, uh, what, what Oliver brought up, what he said to, to me on Tuesday, I was that's when my excitement really got crazy. It always starts on like Tuesday or Wednesday, right? When he said that, no, 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 they, they don't want to work for me. They want me to buy them and let's go crazy. And then he talked about how FIFA said, hey, but we don't know who's looking at us. He does. So when he says, I'm going crazy here, guys. I really want to tell you things. He's he's really doing it, I think, for our own good. Uh, I got to love him for it. I laugh. If you notice, he's coming on. He's talking. He's joking. That is a great thing when you see a man with, with his, I'm going to say his status, even though I just call him, he's my buddy. He, he's a normal guy, but he's joking. He doesn't have a lot of people to joke around with. So when he comes on these 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 webinars, he wants to talk. He wants it. You know, let's just hang out and have a beer, guys, gals. I just want to talk to you. And what does he do? He goes into, oh, my gosh. Oh, my. That's what we say. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. So everything on passive is the world. That's how he wants it. And, and I and I love it because he hasn't said, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take that. He says, hey, if we, we might take a couple of shares here. And not everyone can be a founder. He said that a million times. But. Everything is going to be in passive. I honestly, truly believe that. Every day, the more I watch, the more I listen to him, the more I talk to him, I'm thinking, you are the greatest genius in the world that's silent. You don't want nothing, but you want to give it to, to strangers like us. But we're not strangers anymore. Tell me a CEO that sits down once or twice, three times a week sometimes, and talks to what in, in the... What is it in the, uh, the um, Queen and King of England where you have the nobles and then you have the, the little people? Listen, I'm not being mean. We're the little people. And I'm looking at Ashes. Oh, yeah, he's, he's a noble. He's, he's up there. But he doesn't put his nose up to us. He doesn't flick us, oh, beyond, you're too good for me. He welcomes us no matter who we are, whether for a genius or we're slow or we're fast, how we think. He doesn't care because he wants to help you. What did he say? You even an idiot, which I don't think there's any idiots in the world. I'll, I'll claim I'm the only idiot, so I don't offend anybody, okay? Even an idiot, if you got to be an idiot, if you can't make it in a passive. Guess what? I think I've made it in a passive already, and I'm an idiot. I'll call myself the idiot. But understand this, this little bowl, look at all this. Look at all that. What you know, one little piece of sugar. He takes a little granule and every week he puts it on your tongue because he wants you to be happy. He wants you to understand, listen, you have no idea. I'm getting the crap kicked out of me all week long, but I'm going to give you this little piece of sugar to keep you going, to make you happy, to make you smile. Listen, that's Ash Mafara. If you don't know that by now, you better go sell Amway products because Ash Mafara has never been about himself. All right. Does he get bold? Yeah, he gets bold because he has to get bold. And what is he doing, getting bold for? To protect us. He always protects me. I know that with Marty, because that's funny. 
He's part of the, 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 the gig now. He likes to laugh. But know this. This man has done this not for himself, not for his wonderful wife, his wonderful kids. He's doing it because no one else ever did it. And I think many years ago, I said, why can't I do this? I would, you know, they talked about the history, him, Marty, or someone brought up the book and the movie. I can't wait for that movie because he actually told Marty, oh, no, no, no. We're not talking about a past. We're talking before. Get in the mindset of Ash Mafara when he was 12 years old, 13 years old. That's what I'm waiting. I did have a conversation with him a long time ago with Marty. It was late at night. And uh, I asked him, a couple, what, what kind of music do you like? He's like looking at me like, what you want to talk about a past? No, I just want to know a couple things about you. I want to know what, what you did as a kid. Who did you hang with? And I would say he's pretty much the same way now as he was a kid. He was just a normal guy, but he's seen things that were wrong. Like some of the greatest people in the world that see things were wrong and they try to do something about it. That's the biggest part that scares me. Marty knows what I'm talking about. <clears throat> the things that Ash Mafar is doing, Marty touched on it. It scares me because I don't want, I'm going to jump in front of anybody. Someone, if a Mack truck is coming at him, I want everyone, the 1 million, 400,000, you better believe that we're going to jump there. We're going to protect this guy because that's the stuff he's going against, but he'll never let you know that. I'll tell you that, but don't tell him I told you that. He'll get mad at me, but I'm scared for him a lot of the times because I know what he's doing is good for the world and not just himself. That's all I got, Lynn and Rob. Thank you for letting me talk. I'm sorry I talked so long. I'll put the sugar away and I'll put the backdrop back on. <laughs> Definitely put the sugar away, bud. Yeah, that was very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah. So awesome. All right. Now we've got about a half an hour left. So this is the perfect time to open it up to our guests, to our attendees. This is the time you can speak. You can give your opinion. You can ask a question. We'll have the panel here in front of you to be able to interact with you as well. So don't be shy. Raise your hand and come on down. And we have Satya here with us. How are you, Satya? Hi, ma'am. Rayana, Satyana Rayana. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. How are you, ma'am? Good. Really nice. nice to see you. I love your enthusiasm. You, You're always the first to raise your hand. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. It's uh, our space really great business for oh, amazing. Uh, I heard uh, Ash was uh, he always what he said as to this webinar was really uh, no one can expect unpredictable. It's really oh, amazing projects. No one can expect uh, uh, predict anything. It's great. Uh, how can we say uh, it's really back in, back in by the divine power that kind of man he is oh, uh, very very excited and very great he is really a great personality um, he told uh, on whatever he said in yesterday's webinar was really awesome uh, we are uh, surprising it's very surprising unpredictable very happy so thank you so much this, this kind of massive projects we have uh, and this involving is a blessing to everyone. Thank you so much, ma'am. It's really a great opportunity to everyone to follow this. Uh, and we have a great community of leaders with uh, highly, highly inclusions and uh, great love. Not an ordinary community, this is, but uh, we have um, this community with love and great knowledge. Uh, we can uh, get connected with this community and get more and more knowledge in this. Thank you, ma'am. Always follow and uh, be an active member. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so Thank much. You. It's a great day and honor for me. Thank you so much. And we share your sentiment and we respect and love Mr. Mufara and on passive. I'm glad to see you being very engaged. I see you on various webinars. Good for you. Keep Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your support. Thank you so Thank much. It's a Thank great you. thing. Thank you. We love you. Thank you, Satya. All right. Now we go on to Eric Kessler, who is a regular attendee, very loyal. Come on down. And you can unmute. Make me sound like a puppy dog, Lynn. I'm very loyal. 
uh, you know, I'm just wagging my tail here because I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I, and I am excited. I mean, what we heard yesterday just was like whew, my hair head is still spinning that I'm actually a part of this and, and uh, so grateful and so thankful. Uh, I had I do have a question, though, when when he does launch the first products in the free products, do you think that there's going to be um marketing available like not not just on passive but extra marketing because for me i'm not a i'm not a marketer i have no big list like a lot of people do i don't have anybody to go to and say hey come here and try this i don't i really don't i'm new to to facebook i, I mean i most of the people that are my friends are people that are in on passive so you know i'm not gonna be able to go and just put that on my wall and say hey come come and see this so i'm hoping that there's going to be extra marketing that we could purchase because that's the way I'm going to do my business. I'm not going to be able to do a lot, but I'm going to be able to do some. And so my question is, Marty or whoever, do you think that there that's going to be available from the get-go? Absolutely, Eric. You can go in and buy as much traffic as you want to do. You send it to where you want to send it. You tell the company, I want it to go here. It goes there. And yeah, that's the beauty of the company. I don't want to. So I don't want to. I don't want to work with marketers. I did that for help 15 us, years. Yeah. That'll help us fill up our uh, our free spaces. To people come Ab in. And we can give them. We can give them. O, we can give no mail and the and the all yes. that. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yes, they're cool. going to drive customers onto you. Some of the customers will turn into resellers. It'll be a natural. <laughs> listen, a customer's going to come in. They're going to root around. Why? Because they're consumers, just like we are. They're going to look around, and the way the, the way the dashboard was built is it's going to want to make them go, what's this? They click on it, it gives an explanation. They click on that, it gives, wait a minute, i got Zoom. Why would I want put that down? Right there, right there. Uh, why do I want this? Why do I want that? Well, they got yeah. it now. Oh, I think I'm going to buy that. So now yeah. you have a customer, and then he says, what's this little thing here? There's money in a wallet. I want it. Yeah. How do you get it? Be a reseller. This is going to go on 24-7, Eric. And you can make yeah, it go I, by buying more traffic. Absolutely. Right. I, I dig that. I can see them doing that. I can see myself doing that. If I was new to it, I'd be going, yeah, that looks pretty cool. This company's coming. Hey, it's AI driven. Let's see what that does. I can right. see that. I just need a way of driving people to it beyond my you, abilities. You go to the company, <laughs> you know? go to the go to the company and say, I want to drive some... X amount more traffic to this. That's it. Okay. That's what I figured, but I just I just wanted to ease my mind that that's the way it's going to work. From, from the get-go, I knew eventually after more po products roll out and everything that there was going to be uh, marketing packages, but I didn't know if it was going to be from the very start was, was my question. So that's great. Thanks for the answer. Great question, and I'm sure it benefited a lot of people, so thank you for asking it. Hey, right. Eric, uh -huh. can I give you a hint? Uh, I did a lecture last Sunday afternoon to, I think it was the Dream Team, was it? And I gave the 21 top guerrilla marketing ideas that Jay Conrad Levinson taught me. And it was kind of how you can have a shoestring budget and build up a, a large organization. And so that's available online um, in a YouTube. So it, it gives you a lot of things you can do for free that will bring people in to your business. I did it in um, my dental practice and grew it from zero to five million. And then I started teaching the dentist how to do the same thing. So that was kind of the basis of my, uh, my teaching when I was doing the teaching for marketing and, and practice build, building using Jay Conrad Levinson's guerrilla marketing concepts. Uh, so that's a good idea if you want to do something on your own, that is. Hey, let me chime in here too. Um, you got to remember, on passive is going to build your business. Okay? You don't have to do any heavy lifting. On passive is going to do all that heavy lifting for you. You want to buy, like Marty says, no more marketing and target people? You can do that. Okay? So don't worry about it, man. You're in a good place at the right time.
And, oh, Eric, are you trying to um, say something, Eric? You're muted. No, I, 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 and I, I know all that, Ron. And then I believe in uh, passive, and I know that there's going to be a lot of marketing happening. My question was extra marketing from the beginning, and Marty answered that, and so I'm cool. All right. Thank you, Eric. All Thank right, you. We have, we have now, okay, just to let you know, everybody's doing really well. You know, it takes time for the response to your question, if it is a question. So if you can limit yourself to one or two minutes, it will allow time for a response and we'll make sure that all of our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hands will be recognized. All right. So let's keep it to one to two minutes. Just monitor your yourselves. All right. Come on down, Richard. Richard Lamut is here. I love all your beautiful men, women, and children of the world from the bottom of my heart. Kisses and hugs to all of you. You know, I'm listening to you guys, you know. Trying to figure out what Ash Mufaro was saying. Well, what is this? What is that? What is that? Oh, and this techie, this techie, and this and that. Ash Mufaro is supporting inventors. He is supporting geniuses that have never been supported. But what I got out of Ash Mufara yesterday is only one thing. That lady with the little boy in the car close to that park that they bring their children. You see? This is what I heard yesterday. I don't care about technology. I don't care about this or that or that, but I do care about that woman and that child. That is what on passive is. On passive is a heart of love. So you see, you're talking about all this technology and everything that Ash did not tell us. We're trying to figure this out. Uh -uh. Figure out that woman and child. How he said, you cannot just go there and grab the person and say, well, what's the problem? You got to go and feel and, and find out slowly. See what you can do for that person so that you don't hurt their pride. You know, this is what I saw yesterday. I saw the love from Ashes, God-given heart. So I leave you all with that and a big kiss and a big hug. Thank you for listening to this whole fart. We love you, Richard. Thank you for, sh for sharing. Okay, now we go on to David Rosalski. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I'll just be real quick. I'm just curious. Ash was uh, blowing my mind the other day or yesterday. And uh, while I'm over here sponging them up off the floor, something crossed my mind. Uh, about oh bless you know how we're going to have the one touch uh login uh for those that have multiple accounts you'll be able to access everything link the wallets i was just wondering about the calendar section of oh bless does anybody know if uh we'll be able to link those if we have multiple accounts to avoid like double ups and overlaps in schedules and stuff Good question. I don't think anybody knows yet, do they? Yeah, I don't did you mean we... O-Mail, David? You said O-Bless, but did you mean oh, um, yeah. calendars I'm sorry, in O-Mail? I'm thinking O-Bless all the time. Yeah, uh, I meant in O-Mail, the calendar section in O-Mail. Yeah, will we be able to link those to avoid overlaps and double bookings and things? I'm not sure, but I'd like to get Friday Night Live on the calendar in the back office on Fridays. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> Okay. I mean, that we was have it. to find out, I think, David. David, David, text that question to me and I'll send it to Ash. Oh, right on. Okay. <clears throat> the answer is yes, David. Oh, awesome. Sorry, awesome. I was doing something. Yeah, uh, we you know. Sorry, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you for the question. Uh, uh, hello, Harold Fox. Someone down. Good evening, everyone. Um, 
he, I mean, you guys asked what was some of the things that Ash discussed yes, uh, was yesterday that we could talk about. We could talk about the whole thing. Everything he said was amazing. I don't even know anything about um, database and data center and mobile out, but I've learned. I've learned just from listening to him. But one of the things that drew me in was his marketing ability. When I came to this company, they said, we're going to market for you. We have AI technology. We have IT. All of this will be done for you through those services. And then you look at his marketing ability or genius in marketing ability when he goes to various countries and create ambassadors. Everywhere you go, he has created another layer, as they say, another layer of marketing. And with the three, um, uh, three free, uh, what is it, three free products that he's offering, Marty said there's going to be over a million people. Who doesn't want a free product? And that's just an invitation to see what we have to offer. I think that is genius. That is amazing. And I, every time I hear this man talk, I'm just amazed at what he says. You know, and uh, with that, I'll, you know, I'll just keep coming back. Thanks for letting me share. Hey, we share your amazement as well. Mr. Mafara is a genius in many, many ways. He's an awesome human being too. Thank you very much, Harold. I see we have William, the marshmallow man here. Good to have you here, William. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, uh, there's a few previous webinars I was listening to when he said the uh, grandfather legacy. And I was thinking what he said on the last webinar about uh, taking him by the hand, videos, uh, tutorials, and media uh, support. All those things are so amazing. Can you imagine? You can put anybody, your grandmother, your child, in front of a computer and create so many skills in any area, art, music, etc. So how amazing is that? We don't know what we have until we have it. What do you think of that, Marty? <laughs> Boom, William, that's what I think about it. Okay, I'll leave you with that. I'll leave you with that thought. Grandfather legacy. All righty. There you go. Right on. And All by right. the way, I just want to add one thing. Sure. You know, marketing, no market. I hate I hate marketing. Okay. I marketed for 18 years. Yeah, I could do it. Yeah. But 98% of the people can't. I don't care who's training them, who tells them what to do. If they could do it, they wouldn't be here. But here's the point. If you don't come in as a marketer and you share a few free items, I will be very upset with myself if I don't bring in a hundred thousand people by June with free items, okay? If I don't bring in 100,000, I did something wrong. And I won't use any marketing ability at all to do that. No reason to. You send somebody an email. You, at the end of the email, you see that I'm writing from a different email. Here's why. Oh, and by the way, you can have it, it's free. Do that with every email you've ever received for the next six months after it becomes available. That's one. Go in and you're doing your lives or you're doing whatever. Do a little uh, first five people that answer this question. I'm gonna give them a free, I'm gonna give them something free. Give them one of the free products. You do that over and over and over and over. And then what happens 
a percentage of the people that you brought in for free for a free a free product after looking at that dashboard that we saw the other day curious minds are going to click 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 and that's the reindeer hooves on your roof no i'm just kidding that's another story but anyway you're going to hear click 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 and they're going to start buying stuff free people are going to start purchasing things when they do you get a commission when they get the email, they're going to write their granddaughter and say, hey, I got this new email. Oh, how can I have that? It's free. Go here. You didn't do that. You just started. You just lit a match. Do that over and over and over. Give it away. Make it sound cool. Never come up to somebody as a recruiter or a marketer unless you want to put a gun to your head. We've all done that before. There's no reason to do that. Show them what you have, and they'll want it. I'm telling you, I know for a fact. I had 25,000 people tell me how old they were, and all only ha only reason, I asked Mike Ellis and Dan Street to put their name on the comments and then put your age. So why do we want to do that? I said, I want to show something to you. 20,000 people gave me their age, including women, and I never asked for it. People will do things they want to know. They want to be part of something. If they can have it, I want it. You get, them in, get people in as a free customer, and your grandchildren will never work a day in their life. You do that for six months, and I've been saying this for six months. This is not big marketing. This isn't the end of the world. You guys can do this. I'm going to do it. I will show people how to do it. If you can't bring in 100,000 people in a very short amount of time, we're doing something wrong. Because you're giving away something that has above market, uh, above market value for free. So that's all you got to do because the rest is going to happen. Stop reaching for the fruit, the apple at the top of the tree. Or some right waist tie. Just grab and knock them in your bucket. If you do that, it will set you free. I saw that office. I'm putting the pieces together. I see the breadcrumbs. There's a lot of people coming to my tree. I can tell you right now. And, and <clears throat> it's going to happen to you guys too. It's going to happen. All you got to do is have the door open point over there. I'm going to give away, uh, I'm going to give away at least, uh, eventually, I'm going to give away a reseller position every day as a gift. I don't care if it's Trivial Pursuit. I don't care if it's a paper chase. I said 500 people in the O Connect. Find this answer. First one back, I'm going to give you a reseller position. So I paid 100 bucks. Big deal. 499 people just signed up as a free member on my team. Tomorrow, I'm going to take the 400 and say, invite your friends. I'll do it again. In fact, I'll give away two. Do that for six months. Lights out, drop the freaking mic. And all of us can do that. That has nothing to do with being a marketer. We have been lied to about marketing. I've seen people told by gurus, you're doing a great job, Tommy. You brought in two people last month. Tommy, at that rate, your grandkids will have to work until they are dead. That system never did work. It won't work. It works for about one and a half percent of the people. One guy's named Tony Robbins, and I'm not sure who the other guy is. That's it. That's it. It does not work. The system is rigged against you. The companies don't care if you make money. As we fire, invented, and set up a system that will make all of us free. You don't even have to do it. You could buy more traffic like Eric's going to do and say, hey, walk this way. And you know what money he's using? The money he made from Unpassive. Come on, did we die and go to heaven or what? But you could take free versions. You could give away reseller. Because let me tell you something to you. You know the reseller you paid for? Even if it was 300 bucks, that person's going to pay you back in commission for the rest of their life. So you make $300,000 off the spending 300. I'm not very good in math. I'll do that all day and twice on Sunday. All day. And you don't have to do it forever. 
do it until you're tired of doing it and you're done forever and ever. Your great grandchildren won't work ever. No joke. I I'm, I pound this every time because I know people want to look at what he did, what she did. No, 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 no. I see all of you have stepped up to the mic. All of you have done things in the last two years you've never done. Don't now finish the race. This thing launches. Finish what you started. Get in, point people, help people. You're on a platform that you're going to be wealthy anyway. Why not speed up the process if you can? You don't have to. But there'll be resellers coming in a year from now, a year from now, that will be multi-millionaires. Keep that in mind. And the only way they can get in, they have to sign up under a founder. So the next time you see that perfect 10 man and woman walk with their perfect child into a private jet, you get to say, yeah, I know who that is. He's five generations down on my team. Love it. Love it, Marty. <laughs> I like what you say because it makes the, the ordinary lay person like me feel confident that I know what to do. I'll be okay. I don't have to be a genius marketer like you are, Marty, and I can still do well. You're teaching us simple things that anyone can do. Thanks a lot, Marty. All right. We've got now uh, more people raising their hands. So now we had, I think we had eight or nine. Now we have 11. So uh, because of the time of evening it is, right now it's uh, 10 p.m., although we do have 344 participants, which is awesome for this time of night, I'm going to uh, make a judgment call and say that we're going to have Musharraf Hussein from India as our last commenter. Again, Musharraf is our last commenter. If you raise your hand after him, we will lower your hand, okay, because I've already made the announcement. We've got 10 comments, which is quite a few to go, all right? Now, with the 10 people left, we're going to ask you all to monitor your time. You have one to two minutes maximum, right? And when you hit that time, I will say something, okay? So Because we want to allow time for the response if you do require a response. So we're going to start with Violet. Be sure to time yourself, Violet. Come on down. Let's see. Oh, you don't... You don't have your video on. Okay, go ahead and say what you got to say, Violet. Welcome. Hi, Violet. You have to click the unmute button, Violet. Okay. Uh, good evening. And uh, thank you, Chris, for that ex explanation. That was something that I needed to hear. Um, um, I, I've been watching a thing on YouTube where people, uh, apparently there's an organization somewhere where they donate money to this thing and somebody will walk up to either someone on the street or someone in Walmart with a bunch of kids or whatever and they'll say, I'm kind of hungry. Could I... Can you get me a coffee? And a lot of people will say no, but the first person that says yes, um, they get the coffee, they go back, and they usually hand them like $500, although uh, I have seen as much as $20,000. And um, I can see myself doing that. And I've done that where when I was driving people, to appointments when you come off the highway at the end of the, the ramp, there's usually somebody standing there. Well, in the morning, I would grab a bunch of fives, $5 bills and give them a five. And people would say, why? And I'd say, I just give it to them. And I pray, Lord, if it's for drugs or whatever, it's in your hands you take care of it and off they go well i go they've got the five and they think they're in heaven and um i can just see doing that over and over and over and over again and uh i can't wait it's going to be great see you at the top good night 
Good night. That was awesome. Gives us food for thought, you know, of what we want to do. Thank you very much. Hello, Marie Pendy. Come on down to the panel. Welcome. Good evening, everyone. Marie Pendy speaking here. We have been hearing about all the products that have been produced beautifully. Uh, recently, Mr. Ash Mufare has said he will give us some products that will be free for life. And the rest, the other products will be packaged. This question is for those who are on the panel, especially Madi Digamo, who has experience in marketing. If I were to give you these products, I would like you to give us an example of how you package this product, uh, in, put these products into bundles for you to be able to buy it at the highest level. That's part, question part one. I'm gonna give you O Academy, O Connect, O Staff, O Traffic, O Virtual, and O Domain. If you were to hand, be given this packages, if I'm given the opportunity to make one to six packages, how would you package this for the highest amount of subscription? That's question number one. That is a very big question. My, my thing is, besides the title of the product, I would want to know, because I know as has changed so much, I would want to know what each product does and how they intertwine with each other. I would want to pick the ones that work well with each other. But let's keep in mind how, I, how Marty would do it as a marketer before I'm passive is totally different. How I would do it here is I would look at what it is because they will be bundled, I'm sure. And I would say, I think this package will do the job better than, let's say, that one, whatever the package is. I would tell the company, I want to drive more traffic to this. And I would add more money to the sale because I'm not looking for targeted traffic. They do it for me. That's the beauty of it. Now, will I pick a certain a certain package that I think would go better? Yeah, I might do that. No doubt about it. But I don't know what they are. But I, I'm sure the company is bundling what makes sense. Because the point is, Ash also knows the follow-up, you know, the follow-up, Maria, years ago, or even now, people have a call, they have what they call uh, an autoresponder. So you look at something, you put your name, your email in, and you start getting an email from me, for example. It says, hello, Marie, you were checking this out tonight. I, I, I hope uh, everything went well. Was there any questions you might have had? Because I noticed that you didn't purchase anything. Or would you like any more information? Okay, and then they would, you would either answer it or you would ignore it or you would unsubscribe. Sometimes I get an answer, I don't know how much. But two days later, I'm sending another one anyway. The second one would be, Marie, a couple of days ago, you looked at the site and I sent you a follow-up. And, and by the way, you can unsubscribe to my newsletter anytime you'd like. But you looked at this, this, and this. There must have been a reason. Was there something about it that made you not go any further? Is there something that was missing that you want an answer to? Sometimes on the third or fourth one, I'll get an email back. Well, I was going to do it, but I wasn't sure of this and this and this. I said, well, you know, on that one, if you click that button, it'll give me that info. Oh, I didn't know that. Start up a conversation. They either buy or they don't. That, that's the old style. The new style with Ash Mufara is doing stuff is totally upside down. I don't think you'll have an autoresponder. I think the whole system will be, AI will take over, and, and let's say it's you, Marie, and you go in and you watch a video. It's a 30-second video, and you watch 10 seconds of it. Why? I don't know why. Maybe the mailman came and rang the bell and you got up and went and answered it. At the time you did that, your daughter called, your son called, whatever. you come back, you forgot what you were doing. We all do it. It's called life. The next day, AI is able and capable of 
join a follow-up and say, Marie, yesterday you watched a video. You only watched 10 seconds of it. There's 20 seconds more. Would you like to finish where you left off? And you finish what you're doing. Blah, 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 blah. So the marketing part, I would have to see what is the entry? What can it do? Who am I looking at to look at it? Where with Unpassive, because they're using targeted traffic, that means they're they're looking for people. If it was a reseller, they're looking for people that want to build a business online. That's one type of marketing. Or if they're, you're going online and you say, I'm sick and tired of Zoom. Is there anything out there like Zoom? So you go and say, I want to look up conference calls or conference marketing. Boop, there comes Unpassive. You click on it, AI takes over. AI will know who you are, where you came from, not your pr private details, but it will know randomly about where you're from, from your IP. It'll start feeding you information. And because they're using state of the art, where when I marketed, I was lucky if 3% of the people from the beginning to the end, if 3% actually paid and got in. It's horrendous numbers, horrible. Ask was talking 25%. That's, I've never heard of that. I can't, I can't comment on it because I'd be lying. I never heard of it. But I think it's to a long period of time, a long period of time. The beauty of this company, Marie, me being a marketer, I'm going to focus more on the free products. Because if you get a base of people in, I already know what people do. You know what people do. They're consumers. They shop. Stop brain surgery. Get them in the free products. Johnny comes in under you today and takes O-Mail or one of the free ones. Doesn't matter. He's in. He's messing around with it. <coughs> he thinks it's neat. Now he goes to that panel that we all saw the other day that Ash created with 60 different people working on it, or whatever it is, 40. And they look at all this stuff, and they go, what's this? And they click it. And this thing spirals out, explains what it is, and goes back. Johnny goes, well, freak, I'm using something just like that. So then he clicks it again and does the two-minute video. He sees words like unlimited. He sees blah, blah, blah. Oh, freak, I'm going to get this one. Marie Pendy gets a commission. And that will happen if you bring in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of free people. Every day, you're going to hear, ding, ding, you got a commission. It could be from today or it could be from six months ago. But guess what's happening during this meantime? Johnny has already told his brother, Fred. Fred's going through the same process Johnny just did. He got in, he's messing around. Oh, I'd like to have this. Bang, you get a commission. But during the system between Johnny and Freddie, you brought in 700 people. Why? Because you're not a marketer. God forbid if you're a marketer, because you make it too complicated. And you do that over and over and over and over. And one day, you got 500 people doing commissions every day. Ding, 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 ding. That's compounding because of what you did today. And you keep doing it. Every day will multiply behind it. Penny a day doubled for 30 days. Or would you take a million dollars? I think I'd take the five million or six million, whatever it is. That's doubling. That's compounding what you did. Just don't stop doing it. You do it now. We all share something we like. So don't get in this business thinking marketing and packaging and how, how you would do it. Let the company do that. You pick a package. You say, Mr. Mafara, with this extra $10,000 I got, I got everything paid. My tank is full. I got my new living room furniture. I want you to drive $5,000 worth of targeted traffic to this web page. Let her rip. At the same time, People are coming back to you going, and Miss Pindy, what is this blank, blank, blank? Oh, it's free. You can, you don't have to pay anything. 
Oh, thanks. Six months down the road, they buy something. And then you hit that person that's got a really big mouth. And they're the big gossiper of the street. They're sharing with everybody they meet. And you're so happy that they got the biggest mouth on the street because you're getting bling every day. It's going to happen to everybody. And the beauty of it is we're at the beginning. Nobody can enter the land of unpassive except they go to a founder. I don't think people realize how powerful that really is. You can't sideswipe Marty DeGarma. You're not going to creep around Marie Pendy. You got to go through her. It's a big deal. It's going to be a lot of fun. And watch other people. I will share what I do. People will share what they're doing. You'll see what will happen. But if I don't have 100,000 people in six months, I failed. And, and, and I think it'd be fairly easy. Because I don't know how many thousand I have now. And I don't know how many levels I go deep. But I know this. Whatever I did was a joke compared to what I can do. Because now I know. I know the truth. And it's very easy for all of us to share good news. You know why we had problems in the MLM world? Because truly in our heart, we weren't sure if we were lying to somebody in our family or not. We did not know in our core, am I about to rip off Uncle Bob for the fifth freaking time in my life and tell him this is the best thing that ever happened? That day's gone. You will be very confident when you share something with Unpass. Why? Because you win. And you know the neighbor across the street comes up and walks, where'd you get the new car at? You know that company I was in I told you about? Yeah, it was from that company I was able to pay for this car cash. Is it still, can I still get in? Absolutely. Make them a reseller. That's going to happen day after day, hour after hour with everybody here. Every day, every hour. Take advantage of the beginning. When, when the beginning starts, people are going to go to the internet by the millions. And they're going to punch in what the freak is on passive. And if you're on Thank page you. one, you're a millionaire. Thank you're welcome. Sorry I took so long. <laughs> I guess my second question will be held for another day so I can give a chance for the other ones. Thank you. Sorry. Lynn, I apologize. Let me break in. Marty, check your message from Ash. I'm going to let you read it. He has a little updating for you there. You take it today, buddy. Check your message on what you were talking about. Lynn, I apologize. No, not at all. All right. Thank you, Marie. Good question and a great answer from our Mr. Marty. All right, now we go on. Okay, now it's really important. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more hands. And it's a quarter past the hour. So let's stick with our, let's, can we do it in one minute? Because that's still a lot of time with the response, okay? So time yourselves and we're gonna keep it at a minute. Thank you for your understanding. And we're gonna start with Bruce. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you very much. Marty, my mouth got dry from all the talking that you did. I had to get a drink. But I want to thank you, all, all of you, for everything you always do. I got to say one thing. I know nothing about technology, but you guys make it so simple and so easy for us to be comforted knowing that all these things are going to work for us and we don't have to do anything. We don't even have to figure it out. Look at Chris. Chris is a moron when it comes to technology, but he can eat sugar. So that's great, you know? He made a beautiful analogy. Thank you for that, Chris. You know, the things that I said blew me away and staying on for more than five hours is amazing. To sit with a CEO that long is just amazing. That's love and consideration for all of us. So I have no, no doubt in my mind that he is the leader of this company and he's led us on a path of, of goodness and grace for all of our lives. One of the things that this always makes me think when we talk about the only way to become a member of Unpassive is through a founder. 
it makes me think of Christianity and giving only to the Father or through the Son. But, you know, I won't get into that religious thing. The biggest thing to me is that I have questions galore, but all those questions don't matter because everything is done for us. And every time your mind will tell you how it's going to work, tell your mind, don't worry. Everything is going to be fine and everything is in divine and perfect order. So I think that's almost less than a minute. I want to thank you all for being here. You all are my friends, my brothers, and my sisters. I love you all. Great job, and good feedback. Thank you. Hi, Joyce Hicks. How are you? Hi, Lynn. Hello, everyone. Um, I just wanted to say that, you know, yesterday's webinar was awesome. It just blew me away. I'm still trying to process everything and just know that, you know, I'm passive and the products are light years ahead. Um, someone talked about dreams and dreaming, becoming a reality and being in many companies and, um, you know, dreaming and those things, you would dream it a little bit, you would think they would come true, but I'm passive has changed, has changed that so much that I can dream and believe and I know that they'll be they, they'll come true and have no doubt in my mind that this is going to happen. So um, I'm just really excited and, and so blessed that Ash has um, taken the time to do this for us and share with us. And one more thing, I just want to say that the next generation will take over. My granddaughter has this app called Be Real. And in this app, they snap pictures and talk about their lives and it's, they're being real and being open and honest about what they're doing, no matter what they're doing, they have to show this picture and talk about it. They have like two minutes to respond when someone talks to you. So when they see these products from on passive, they're going to be all over it. They're going to be lit up. They will just jump on it. And then when you say free, oh my gosh, you guys, we don't even understand. These young people are going to just go and run with this. And, and when they share with their friends, it's going to just light up the world and people will be coming in from all over. So thank you guys for enlightening us on tonight. And um, just opening up and sharing and makes us help helps us to understand things so so much more and when you're not techie but you listen and you learn just thank you everyone and thank you ash and the tech team beautifully said joyce and yeah free is going to be that magic word that brings in a lot of people hi we have dj here who's from india good to have you here dj uh, madam, thank you very much, Lynn, madam. You are my big sister and very good morning from India and good evening to all the panelists. And uh, I'm very big thank you to our big brother, our world big brother, Marty Degamo, sir. And hey, 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 Chris Johnson, sir, I love you. And I love you, Otec Pros brothers and Oliver Collins, sir. I, I, really, I really appreciate your knowledge. I really always am following your uh, uh, awareness of the uh, one peso. And also from beginning of the, uh, when I joined uh, three, three years before, from beginning of the day, I just followed Marty sir. Marty sir, you are amazing motivation and you amazing information to all our world and to the, as well as India and Andhra Pradesh. And my name is DJ Jagan Mohan. I am from India, Andhra Pradesh, which is uh, our company located Hyderabad, which is, belongs to our state only. I am so, so proud of you, be part of uh, Anpaiso. I am so happy, part of the all the, uh, good leaders all over the world. I'm so happy and uh, Lynn, madam, I'm so happy to privilege to talk with and interact with uh, our uh, big brother, Marty and Chris Johnson and Oliver. And I forget Dr. Billy Williams, sir. I'm so big fan of you, sir. I'm so happy to be part of with you. I'm so happy. Thank you, Lynn, madam. Next time, so many people are waiting. Next time, definitely I'll ask a question. I have so many good questions out there, but uh, uh, please, please, sorry, and we will give the chance to another one. Thank you, thank you. And Marty, sir, I love you. Lynn, madam, I love you. I love you, love you always. I love Aunt Pasu. We are in it to win it. Do or die only with Aunt Pasu from Andhra Pradesh, India. Andhra ke namaskaram. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you, DJ. You sure can talk fast. Wow, you got a lot in that one minute. Good job. All right, next we have Ricardo Tavares, who's been waiting patiently. Good to have you. Ricardo, let me ask you to unmute. Go ahead and speak. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, hello, everybody. How's everybody doing there? I know you guys are doing super awesome. I'm so happy to be here with you guys with uh, 
Ron, uh, Ron uh, is in my organization. I signed up a friend and a friend called him and I'm so proud of him of what he does now. I'm so proud of, of all of you. And I'm just going to talk next time. I'm just going to let somebody else take it and uh, have a super awesome night, everyone. Thank you, Ricardo. You are. Hey, Ricardo. Ricardo, yes. thank you, brother. Good oh, you're me. welcome. Here we go again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Ron. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Be safe. Next time I tell you the story how Ash was able to find Ron after he fell in love with him the way he talked to him. <laughs> All right. Save that for another day. Great. Thank All right. You. All right. Now we go to Lishja Tuak. Good to have you, Lishja Tuak. Hi, again, I have a simple question. It may be so, it's so simple, it may be dumb, but I don't know anything at all about traffic. Okay, say I want to purchase some. I choose what I want, okay? But then how do I know what I'm doing is correct? How do I go about it? Are there, you know, like um, uh, guidelines and so on? help absolutely there'll be tutorials explaining anything you want to do okay and if, and if you're not sure i know i know that you have at least 35 40 000 friends here that would help you in a splash but it should all be explained fairly simple really thank you that's all i wanted to know i'm done less than a hey, minute um dr bill oh you were fast you were fast <laughs> Straight hey, uh, to the point. Straight to the point. I want to awesome. give uh, I want to give an update from Ash if I can or if I should. Because yes, obviously he was stalking me <laughs> or <laughs> us. Anyway, uh, here's what he said. It's definitely, he was definitely listening in to to add to what 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 was being said. He said he said the minute they enter the office, the back office, with any status. As a guest, as a trial attendee, a follower, a customer, etc., they are considered numbers that subscribers open newsletter. So they're already going to be part of a newsletter. Okay. Uh, our media center will follow up with them live. Live, no dead order responders, none. Like I said, he said they're obsolete. Through live events, training, emails, videos in multiple languages. Well, I'm reading this for the first time, so bear with me. Um, AI will steer them in the right direction. And seeing the wallet plus the impact of all the press reports, they're going to see everything while they're there, going to be delivered everything. Uh, there's nothing that's going to go by. They're going to know everything that's going on. He said spokesperson will be holding. He's still writing, so every time he writes something, I just jumped away. Spokespersons will be holding press conferences all the time, sharing sharing with the media. The videos will... did it again. Videos will be shared with the members as a form of dynamic follow-up, or even live, guys. Just like the White House. There'll be updates and everything, everybody will know. It's This is big, guys, big, big, big. Tomorrow, I don't know if I'm supposed to read this part. Eh, I'm going to. Tomorrow we have a major meeting over our media department. Wish me the wisdom and intelligence that people are extraordinarily intelligent. He said, sure, share this away. I said, I'm pretty sure that they will realize who the sharpest guy in the room is fairly quickly. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, there will all be members on the platform, not subscribers of the newsletter. I said that wrong. It's not the old way. Nothing about subscribers. They will be treated as part of the company, okay? Anybody that enters in any way. 
they come in, they're part of the company. That's how they're going to be treated, unless they unless they want out, which they're not going to. So he's still writing. So if you got anything, go ahead and I'll read it after he's done. Okay, that was fabulous, actually. Um, very novel in its, its approach. I don't think it's being done by other companies as far as I know, where you treat everyone as part of the company. And that's amazing. And it's a state-of-the-art, state uh, Lynn, state-of-the-art press releases from formal studios. It's a big deal. It's gonna look for pro pro professional to everyone that comes in. Everybody's gonna be treated Five star. I just added that, by the way. Okay. So. Wow. Yeah, okay. Well, if you don't need to add anything, just interject. Okay, sorry. No. I'm good right now, yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah. All right, we've got um, Parvesh, Musharraf, and Arman actually Armand came before Parvesh, but he got booted out, so he came back. So I'm going to honor the fact that Armand was next in line. So we'll have Armand come and speak with us. Go ahead and unmute now. Can you hear me now, Lynn? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. I got a two-minute thing here. Uh, I'm turning on my timer. I, I, I just want to thank the Hydrobad team for all this impossible work they're doing. They've come up. amazing over my head. Thanks, Mr. Ash. You're one in a hundred quadrillion since humans ever came to this planet somehow i believe it's through god but thanks for being here and thanks for this gift for 97 dollars barking tree frogs man that wakes me up anyways i got a problem well issue issue sorry uh i'd like to thank uh many uh uh well i want to thank everybody uh, I, I'd like to buy more pending. I've uh, been hesitating because I got this concussion and I'm getting better. I'm telling you, but I'll tell you, I cannot understand the process of calling, sending my name, my uh, phone number. Uh, and that stuff, and I only got 14 seconds left, but anyways, I am confused. Okay, I don't so know what to do. Just message me privately, and I will walk you through the steps. That's the best way. Step by message step. you privately. How do I do that? You're Once on my again? messenger, you and I are on, on messenger together already. Oh, okay, I never heard they go there. Oh, but you're there, I think. But I can get there, I can get there. I'm sure I can. Okay, okay we'll connect. Okay. One on thanks. One, one on one will help you. Okay. Thank, thanks a million in U.S. funds. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> love you. Take care. Thanks. All right. Who do we have? Let's wait. Hold on. Let me just get a mute. Come on. I'll, I'll mute. There we go. Okay. So we don't hear everything. Okay. Now we've got our last two speakers. We've got Parvesh. Thank you so much for inviting me. First of all, greetings to everyone from India. Uh, first, and uh, thanks to Mr. Ash Mufare and On Passive. Uh, on Passive and Mr. Ash Mufare delivered us uh, right uh, till now is beyond our imaginations. So, this is uh, On Passive is a magical word for me. Uh, before joining the on passive, my life is going in some different directions. But Mr. Ash Mufari and his vision and mission give me the new, uh, give me give a new direction to my life. And now the perspective has changed for me. 
now i can uh, uh, i can took every situation in a bigger picture and uh, ready to go with the flow and this is a great platform and this uh, i also learned so many things from all the great leaders uh, it's uh, it, it will took so much time to took the name of all the leaders but i would really like to congratulate all the leaders from bottom of my heart and uh, life is a process of learning and learning is a endless process here we can uh, learn so many things from all of us so i respect everyone and uh, i learn I learn so many things from each and everyone who, uh, when you are in the process of learning, uh, yeah. the time age doesn't matter. So I learn from everyone who is younger than me and who is elder than me. So on passive is going to rock the world, and uh, it's the time magic has been started, and uh, this is the beginning of the magical journey of everyone else. So thank you so much. Have a great time. Thank you for your share. Appreciate you. Our last speaker is going to be, excuse me, Musharraf Hussein. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you very much. And very good evening, good morning, good afternoon. And I'll just see the Dr. Bills also and uh, everyone. Thank you. And uh, is, uh, I, I don't have any questions because uh, uh, and yesterday I just seen you know, Jeffrey say one uh, one thing. Uh, if you uh, involve on passive, if you learn on passive, so you don't have any questions, first of all. And uh, I, I learn properly. I just understand on passive very deeply because uh, I'm also uh, uh, involved in the technology. So last uh, uh, six to seven years, I'm already involved. So uh, I don't think anyone, those who are involved in this on passive, those who understand, they don't have any questions. But uh, some few points I just want to say it's very important. Uh, basically, that uh, so many uh, founders, they think like uh, different companies and uh, different product, like a physical and uh, whatever that. Uh, they're doing like a business as a applet marketing, those who come and join us. But Ash already say clearly that uh, we are something doing different. We are not like uh, affiliate marketing because last uh, nine to 10 months back, first I'm asked the questions to Ash. So if once our product uh, come to our uh, back office, so is it possible to be able doing uh, applet marketing program so they will uh, provide to anyone? So as say that time, no, we are not uh, providing like applet marketing, but we are something doing different because we are AI based technology, so that, that means we are give you some new uh, like uh, system. So that's it. It will be very interesting that time. So I'm very happy for that because it's not the old model. If after you said it's like an old model that everyone, every company should be used in our platform. But on passive is the AI technology, so we are doing something different, definitely. And second thing that's uh, uh, I'm also starting our e-commerce business just like uh, uh, in 2016, just like Amazon. But that that time, the craze will be not like that. That just now, because after uh, uh, COVID, it's very huge changes for e-commerce website and uh, like a technology to adopt in every country. Because it's uh, everyone uh, like uh, go to the online and doing something like that. Because these are the revolution. These are the changes. If once the COVID should be, uh, it's not come, so we are not understand what are the situation right now. But now everybody's know the online uh, system is very important because if you are sitting at home, if you want to buy, so definitely you go to the online. It's very easy to, you can purchase, you can buy like a physical product, digital, anyone you have to purchase from there. It's a very easy for right now. Second thing that uh, like uh, our website, if uh, I'll say that uh, everyone say how it's come to the traffic, See, these are the AI technology. Everyone, there's AI technology system to start it. So definitely traffic should be uh, automatically come because uh, uh, we are the, it's like a 4.5 billion customer. They are already involved in the internet system right now. So it's very easy to come traffic. And as it's very experienced person, it's like the last 20 years. So don't think like that, how it's come. It's definitely it's come. That time I'm talking about the 2060, it's very tough for me. It's uh, like uh, we are uh, getting a traffic to our uh, website. 
But now it's totally a different. It's very easy. I think like that. So business is so easy. And now at the time we can you know, enjoy as see. Just let's see only because we are already going to be changing the world. It's a revolution. So we enjoy. Yes. And uh, thank yeah, you. thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Nick, uh, Lynn. It's uh, giving me a chance. Thank you. And Dr. Bills, I'm really very proud. I just you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marty, also. Thank and you. as Marty calls it, unpassive is a business in a box, easily done, all done for you. So thank you very much for sharing your thoughts. All right. Now we take it to back to our um, panel, who you see right in front of you. And I wanted to allow any of you, if you have final words, certainly say them now. Collins, Oliver, Marty, Dr. Bill, Chris. Any final words? Are we all good? Nothing burning? All right. We're all and Ron Albert, our co-host, he might have some final words. I just want to thank everybody uh, for being here with us. I think we had a great webinar tonight. Uh, a lot of information has been shared, and uh, on this kind of, I love this kind of forum, and uh, it's uh, it's amazing what uh, On Passive is doing for all of us, and what it's going to do for all of us. So uh, keep the faith, folks. Sit up. Pay attention and, and uh, let's go all the way. Boom, right. baby. Hey, Dr. Bill has his hands up a little then. Oh, go for it, Dr. Bill. Thank you, for, uh, thank you for unmuting me. I appreciate it. Hey, I had you. one word. I don't, uh, I don't know what happened to your co host. I don't know. I, I think I feel like ashes are jewels burn. You know, Jules Verne was a, a science fiction writer that wrote back in the 16, 1860s, 1870s, things like um, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea or 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Around the World in 80 Days. Ash has seen the future. He's, he's creating the future. And we might think it sounds fantastic now, but everything Jules Verne wrote about has come to pass. We can do the things that he wrote about 200 years ago. So Ash is a futurist. And uh, when you hang around futurist, you get to see things before other people. And the founders here are very fortunate to, to be in that position to ride on the, um, the rocket ship call on passive. Thanks, Lynn. Right. So everybody hop on board that rocket ship. Oh, we need a whole fleet of rocket ships with so many of us, but we'll definitely want to be on that exciting ride. Thank I was going to be a smart aleck, Lynn, and ask Dr. Bill, how old was he then? <laughs> What's the answer, Dr. Bill? <laughs> how old was that when Jules Verne wrote his book? Yeah. <laughs> I was born Sorry. in 1950. <laughs> 1950, huh? Yeah, I mean, by five years. I'm even older than you are. <laughs> and I'm slightly younger than you are, <laughs> but not much younger. Thank you so much. All right, so we'll take it now to, oh wait, let me say with the thanks. Okay. Thank yous and then goodbyes, okay? All right, thank you to Marty DeGarmo. Salute to you, Marty, always here for us. <laughs> Some hell or high water, you're here. Thank you so much. Thank you to the OTEC pros. We had Collins and Oliver speaking today. Thank you to Chris Johnson and Dr. Bill for coming on to our panel so graciously. Thank you to our attendees who spoke. Thank you to our attendees who didn't even speak, but we're here to listen and learn. Thank you to our graphics designers, uh, June Buckingham and Myra Aquino. Are they both here? Is Myra here too? Yeah, both of you are here. So we're going to have uh, June on the spotlight and Myra as well, because you know what? They do so much for us. So we wanna say thank you to them. These lovely <laughs> ladies, and let me tell you, they put in a lot of time making our graphics. And today, I thought today's background was exceptionally beautiful. And let's see with, whether others agree. If you like the background, thumbs up. I thought it was so pretty. See, look at that girls, wonderful. 
Thank you. And if you guys would like to say a few words, we want to allow you some time to say something. June, Myra. Go ahead, Myra. Okay, thank you. Uh, happy to be here as always and happy to see everybody. Um, it's nothing to say. I'm so happy, so excited, so grateful. Everything that is unfolding is out of my belief. Sometimes I think I had to pinch my own self because I still don't believe what, I, what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing. On past is gonna change the life for so many of us. It, this is unbelievable. I, I do like, uh, I follow the slogan from, from the old type pros. I keep it simple. I have been learning for two years almost. I think in, in Halloween, uh, this October, I did two years. I keep it simple, I attend my webinars, learn as much as I can. And even the answer from list I couldn't answer myself because I've been learning so much on my own. So it's just beautiful. We are lucky, we are blessed. I'm happy to be in this whole family. And I'm very grateful for Mr. Ash Mufara had, you know, crossed our path. We are really blessed. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Well, I want to say thank you, Myra, for working together to make this image as beautiful as it is to make it bring it out to the show and i want to thank ash and all the presenters tonight y'all were awesome i do learn a lot from the webinars and i feel blessed as long as well as everyone else the webinar blew me away each time i hear ash actually talk it is just you just surprise what comes out and it just blows your mind um I just feel blessed to be with this and blessed to meet, well, not yet, but have a lot of new friends in our own Paso family. I love y'all all. Love you. All right now, thank you. Does everybody know that they put in hours every week to do this? It's not just a few minutes, it's hours a week mm -hmm. they on this. And they do it as a labor of love and a, 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 something to give back to the founder community to Ash Mofara and the company. So, you know, I just want to acknowledge their hard work and dedication. Thank you both. Thank right, you, Anne. Well, Thank you. Uh, I want to bring um, John Barilla to the floor. He is our chat commissioner. He is the one that has created his crew of helpers to really help monitor the chat and the live, I mean, the, the, the YouTube live stream chat, as well as the actual webinar chat. So we want to acknowledge him, and I want him to be able to call his people and, and thank them as well. Okay. Yes, hello, everybody. And as usual, I have nothing to say, only because I'm, I'm listening, and it's wonderful, and I just like everything else everybody says, and I'm usually just nodding my head. Everything is so good. I just want to know, when does this thing launch, though? Don't we have like a – never mind, I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> I, want to thank, I want to thank everybody – that helps me. That's why I'm talking right now, really. And here they are. These are the folks that are behind the scenes helping us uh, protect the chats and a lot more than that, too, in a sense. So MK Kaylee, Yin Yang 444, Casey Zebenbergen, Kushu Pagu, Raphael St. Germain, Jean Oliva, Lister Tuach, May Rakino, Bruce Gerstein, Miriam Weiberg, uh, Roy Davies, Rob Gorman, and Dave Rosowski. That's it. Thank you very much, folks. I really am paying attention. I know when we're. I know what we're doing. Thank you so much. There's a pretty large crew of helpers, and that is awesome. I think it's wonderful, and um, we want to just actually really appreciate what you guys do day in and day out. Because there's webinars pretty much every day, and you guys are not doing only Friday Night Live, but other ones as well. So, you know, that's a lot, a lot of hours that you guys put in. Thank you very much. All right. And I also want to thank anybody else who's actually helping to promote our webinar. Not only Friday Night Live, but the other webinars, you know, you guys are there to share these webinars with friends and family and colleagues, et cetera. And you're there to make posts. You're there to comment on posts. You're there to react to posts. And I just want to thank you all for doing that. We are all in it together, and we believe that these webinars are very helpful to many. We want to continue to have value and, and that we'll continue to do this. As long as there's interest, we will continue to have webinars such as Friday Night Live. 
So at this time, we're taking it to the gallery and oh, it looks so pretty with all the, the red background. It's lovely to my eyes. Gorgeous. Hey, you know what? Lynn, excuse me. One more name. Willy Winky. Forgot somebody. That's Willy Wonka. all. Willy Wonka. All right. Thank uh, you. Yeah, Willy Wonka. What am I calling him Willy Winky for? <laughs> no problem. I forgot to say. Willy Wonky. Willy Wonky. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Willy Wonky. All right. Before, oh, I forgot to say. Willy Wonky. Let me mention a couple of uh, things. Okay, for, uh, tonight we have Roblin Live, and that's in an hour and 15 minutes. Not long from now, but enough for you to get a bathroom break and get a snack if you need, or a little power nap. So come and join us on Roblin Live. The link is posted in the back office, as well as on social media. Um, next, tomorrow, what I'm involved with is a Milo show. That's at 2 p.m., and um, come and join us for that. And then on Sunday, I'm involved with the Heroes webinar. That will be at 1.30 p.m. Eastern, and we'll have Andy Burks talk about the sales perspective. We'll have uh, Red Red Firm give an update about the company, and then we're going to have OTEC Pros give a little presentation, and then we open it up to question and answer from the floor. So yeah, join us for it. Pardon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Papua New Guinea webinar is at tomorrow. It's a new time and new day. It's every Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern. We will post the link in the back office as well. So come and join us for PNG. Thank you, everybody. We're going to now unmute you all and so you guys can say bye. If you want me to highlight you guys on camera, show me your video. That's my cue to you that you want to be on camera. Oh, my, my <laughs> good Thank Bye. 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 Bye.
Does anybody know how many doctors are in on passive? Oh, too many. Uh, what, what, like what, to one million that. four hundred. How many? How many doctors? How many? Many? How many? How many doctors? One point four. One point four million. We are all doctors. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm going to change my name to uh, Rodney Hi, Dangerfield's doctor. How are you? Check your message. Oh, okay, thank you. Bye. See y'all. Bye now. Come to yeah. the Roblin Night. Okay. <laughs> we'll be there or be square. That's right. Be there or be square or be round. I don't care what you are. I'm an L7. I'm L7. Secret agent L7. Thanks, Lynn. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, Lynn. Thanks, Ron. I gotta get off this. Good night. You've been richly blessed, all of you. Hey Harry, good to see you. Good night, sweetie. You're not going to bed. We're all crazy tonight. Hey, Roy. <laughs> Take the mid up. Hey, bye, everybody. Gonna shut up now. Bye, bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye